What's up guys, it's Luke Embers, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to share something very special with you all. So recently I got a brand new tattoo on my forearm and I thought that this would be a really good time to share the meaning and to talk to you about what the symbols mean on my tattoo because a lot of it pertains to my journey with fire knife dancing. For some context, I dance for a Polynesian academy called Hukulea, Academy of Polynesian Arts based in Chicago, where we do all sorts of Polynesian cultural dancing, such as hula dancing, ori tahiti, and of course, the Samoan seba afi, the fire knife dance. That's where I learned all the way back in 2017. Anyways, every year we have a really cool tattoo artist named Pierre come from San Francisco to Chicago and opens up time for people to get tattoos or tatao in Polynesian culture. Now, the tatao is very, very deep and has a lot of history when it comes to people of Polynesia. And here is really talented. I'll drop his Instagram down in the description below so that you can see some of his artwork. A side note, so I actually didn't choose the designs or symbols. How Pierre works is you talk to him, you talk to him about what you want to represent, but you don't necessarily get to choose what the symbols are. He gets to decide based on the story you tell him, your conversation with him, and his fit with the symbols that he knows and the design, especially the placement of the body, where you want it on the body because it has to fit in certain ways and areas, etc. So anyways, I thought this would be a great time to share with you all the meaning and significance of my tattoos, since it's kind of, you see it in the videos and it's pretty obvious that you know, that it's there, so. All right, so these are all the tattoos I have. So I have uh, a tattoo right here on the side and then uh, a very large forearm tattoo here. So there's a lot going on in this tattoo here. First, I'll start from the top and make my way down to the bottom. You can see that the bottom is a little bit more crisp because this is the section that I just got. This part I got last year by Pierre, so it's just a kind of a continuation of it. These large, like C-shaped objects, these are called ipus. Ipus are also referred to as containers or vessels that store things and they store knowledge. So as I'm going about my life, as I'm living new experiences and learning about the craft of fire knife and just, you know, everyday things, I'm adding knowledge to the ipus and they're being stored and filled as I, you know, move forward with my life. On the corners here, they kind of look like worms, but these are called uh, mata, which is tiki eyes, and these are eyes of your ancestors. And these represent protection guidance as your ancestors guide you as you live in your life. These triangles here are mountains and they represent overcoming hardship. You have a, a single strand right here at the very top versus a very thick strand on the bottom. And this means strength and unity. Say you have a stick, a single stick. It's easy to break when it's on its own. But when you have even just five sticks, it becomes a lot harder to break. And so that's the kind of the idea that working together with people will lead to strength and resilience when it comes to any types of challenges in my life. Moving on, on the back here, I got a lot of stuff too. So down here, this is the pattern of a snake belly, specifically an ifi snake, which is from the Philippines. And this represents caution and awareness. In Filipino culture, back in olden times, we would be gathering fruits from trees and looking up. You know, sometimes we would forget to look down and on the ground there could be snakes or dangers upon us and so, the snake belly represents caution and awareness to make sure that going for something or doing something in your life, be aware of the potential dangers that come with it or the things that can jeopardize yourself or others around you. Here, these curves, which go up like this, it's kind of hard to sit upside down, but uh, those are the horns of the carabao and the carabao is a type of bull in the Philippines and these horns represent hard work and humility and just dedication to the work that you are doing. These holes right here, these represent windows, and these windows represent portals for energy. And these portals represent bringing in good energy and pushing out bad energy. So making sure that I'm aware of the people that I surround myself or the type of energy I put out into the world. When I put out good energy, I receive good energy versus pushing out bad, I receive bad. These are kind of pegs and they represent my family. There's five people in my family, me and my two older sisters and then my parents. My dad and I are on the, the ends and then my sisters and my mom are in the middle and my dad and I represent protecting our family because we are the males. And then on the ends we have the koru and the koru is a type of flower in New Zealand and the koru represents new life and growth. 
So this should be the end of the tatao that I got last year. This is the first one I've ever gotten on my body, which is really cool. Now I'll show you what the part I got this year represents. So I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's kind of peeling already. Now it's starting to, you know, heal, etc., and scab. But anyways, what we have first is this giant window in the front. Now this again represents energy. So you want to push out bad energy and take in good energy. Next we have more koru, which is the, these curves right here. More koru representing uh, new life and growth as I, you know, continue my life. Next we have coconuts, which are, you know, hidden right next to the koru. And coconuts are the one fruit that can persevere through very extreme conditions. So they can survive in salt water, they can grow in sand. So despite having the worst conditions, I can still find a way to grow and to build myself up. Next, we have more horns of the Karabao, which again represents hard work and humility. Now these symbols right here, these represent the snake's tongue. Similar to Mata, which holds ties to your ancestries, the snake's tongue represents your intuition and the voices of your ancestors trying to talk to you. Now this is again, kind of like your gut feeling. So if you feel as if you should go a certain way or you should do a certain thing based on how you feel and your intuition, you should trust that process and not doubt yourself or second guess yourself with decisions. Right here, these are tea leaves and these are another type of plant that grows in the, in the islands and they again represent more prosperity and growth and uh, flourishment. On the end right here, we have another mata, another eye of the ancestors, again representing guidance and protection. More tea leaves. Here on the back, which is a very cool design, this is shark's teeth. Now, shark's teeth represents bravery and strength especially in my life with Fire Knife. And just what I'm trying to put forth with my content, I'm trying to add more gymnastics tricking and hip hop and other types of aspects into Siva Uffi. And it's kind of scary because it's kind of undiscovered territory. So it's kind of my way of remaining brave and trusting the process. Again, using the snake's tongue as a reminder that my ancestors have my back. And if it feels right, go for it. And this definitely feels right in my life. And I wanna make sure that I have the strength to push forward with that. And then finally, we have more mata on the ends here, on the corners, and then a little bit more of tea leaves for prosperity. So if you've noticed, a lot of these symbols are very, very metaphoric and very deep, and they actually have a lot of history. And it's not just about looking cool or whatever, but there's actually rules and there's depth to the tatao and the designs that are used. Pierre is one of a kind, he's so talented with his artwork. Again, I'll link his Instagram below so you can see some of his work. If you're in the Bay Area, definitely check him out. But yeah, and again, with my whole journey with Fire Knife, it's very undiscovered territory. I want to dedicate the next five, 10 years of my life to Siva Uffi and to exploring this new style that I'm trying to bring to the world. And when I do this, and as I'm exploring, I don't wanna just cut ties with the traditional style of Siva Uffi and Polynesian culture. I really wanna be able to continue forward and explore new ways to share Siva Uffi with the world while respecting and remaining true to its origins and its culture. The reason why I have these symbols on my forearm is because this is my dominant arm and I can see this practically every day, right? And it's a reminder that this is the life that I want to push forward and it's going to have its own challenges. It's going to have a lot of uncertainty. It's going to have a lot of difficulties. I want this to be a reminder that as long as it feels right, have the bravery, have the strength to do it. Just all these symbols that represent my my journey with Siva Uffi and fire knife dancing. And I felt now would be a good time to share that with you all, especially because I got my new ink this year. And I want to be able to be transparent with the journey that I'm taking with Siva Uffi and Fire Knife. I definitely want to do more of these just one-on-one -on -one heart to hearts in the future. Just to be honest and to, uh, to share with you how I'm feeling in the process too, because I don't want to do all that fake influencer stuff where you only see the good stuff. I want to be very transparent and honest with what I'm doing, how I'm feeling and where I'm going and my plans and journeys and all that. So again, this was like a, a leap of faith because I didn't know what the design was going to be, but it totally turned out really cool and I'm extremely happy with it. And every day I do genuinely feel reminded of what I'm doing and that this is important, not necessarily to other people, but to me. I'm glad that I can share this journey with you all again. So anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you love the tatao. Ta I think it's really cool. Like always, be what remains and I will see you in the next video. Peace.